Hey everybody, it's Josh, the 90 Know-It-All, coming to you today because this story with the Astros never dies. It's, granted, it's only been about a week, really, that things have really kind of uh, kicked up and, and been moving at full speed, but guys, it's Thursday and something else came up today that normally I wait till the afternoon to record a video when my daughter's asleep, once again, stay-at-home dads, got to work around the, the little one's schedule, but today, not this time. I had to come on here right away, talk about what's going on, because this kind of just blew my mind. So this morning on the Golik and Wingo show, uh, Jessica Mendoza was on there talking about how Mike Fires, the guy who was the whistleblower for all of this, did the wrong thing, that he should not have gone public, that he should have kept his mouth shut and not talked about this, and that baseball would have been better had he not said anything. And this is the dumbest thing I've heard all week long. And one of the things she said is that no one else talked to Major League Baseball about this. No one else complained about this. And let's be fair. Lots of teams, lots of players saw what was going on and were trying to raise, raise awareness. We're trying to notify the authorities so they would investigate this. And no one would do it. Finally, this came up where a former Astros player said, hey, yeah, they're cheating. This is how they're doing it. And you know what? Good for him. This needed to happen. This needed to go through. And honestly, what makes this worse, what makes what she said worse, is that not only is she an ESPN employee, she does, was it Sunday Night Baseball? I don't even watch the ESPN games because I can't stand any of the commentators on, on that group. But not only is she an ESPN employee, but she also works for the Mets. She is an employee of the Mets who have a head coach named Carlos Beltran, who in all stories that I've heard and everything that, that I've read was instrumental in the planning of this cheating and the execution of this cheating scandal. He was one of the center people, the main guys who worked on this along with Alex Cora, the bench coach for the Astros, and now he's a coach for the Mets. So she, as a commentator for ESPN, cannot be fair, cannot be honest, because she is working for the Mets and is defending someone, a part of the scandal. And this just drives me nuts, makes me so mad, because... A couple years ago, I wrote a, a little series about women in baseball. And I was talking about how um, I wanted to see women get the opportunity to coach, to co do uh, TV work, radio work, all that stuff. Because I have two daughters. I have two daughters who I hope will grow up and love the game of baseball and softball and, and all the other sports. And I want to know that it, when they choose a career, that if they want to work in baseball, they can not because, you know, or, or not be blocked because they're female. I want them to be judged by their talent, their knowledge, their skill, that type of stuff. And Jessica Mendoza being one of the main key figureheads of females in sports, and especially in baseball, to have her come out and do this, it, man, it makes me mad. It makes me mad. The whistleblower is not the problem. The problem is the cheaters. You know, we're, we're in an era now where we're running the risk of having really the steroid era 2.0. We are at the point where if we don't stop this type of cheating, this type of streaming signs to the dugout, it will only get worse. It will only get worse and grow and grow. So I think that... Mike Fires coming out here, being honest about what was going on, telling the people so he can be investigated, was the best thing to happen to baseball at this point. The best thing. And to have someone, anyone, say that he was the problem, no. No. He was not the problem. The problem was the Astros cheating. That was the problem. The problem was, was A.J. Hinch letting it happen. And don't tell me, oh, well, he broke two screens because he didn't want it to happen. If you're the manager of a team, you can shut it down. You have that power to shut it down. He didn't do that. He 
broke two screens, well, that's great. He didn't stop the problem, and that's his fault. He even admitted it. He didn't stop the problem. He let it go. He's fired. Great. Done. He's gone. Alex Cora, Boston, fired, gone. I think that firing came a little bit earlier, earlier than I expected because I think Boston's hiding something else. We all know that Boston was reported to be cheating in 2018, and I think that they may have hoped that by firing him that they could maybe get away with not being investigated as hard as the Astros. That's just my theory. I think I'm right, though. Uh, so I think that there's more with the Boston side of things, but that's why they jumped out and fired Cora quickly. But you guys know my opinion. I said it the other day when I did my video about the scandal initially. I think the players need to be punished as well. There needs to be punishment for those who were instrumental in the creation of this cheating scandal and they need to be punished and Carlos Beltran is one of those people he needs to be punished I think the Mets should fire him I think at this point the Mets should fire Jessica Mendoza as well I think that she needs to go and it, it stinks because once again being one of the the lead female figures in the sport of baseball her doing this and then being fired if she gets fired I, I doubt she will would hurt future generations and future females trying to work in the game of baseball like my daughters if they grow up to choose that so what she said was stupid she needs to be fired for it i think carlos beltran needs to be fired for it i think the astros players need to be punished still now i don't think it will happen just like i know for a fact that they're never going to take away the the world series trophies from the astros and the red sox um, especially the astros who we know cheated during the playoffs that they're never going to take away those trophies uh, it's just not going to happen but there still needs to be punishment still needs to be something out there and I'm, I'm excited or not necessarily excited but I'm optimistic because as Jessica Mendoza said those things this morning the response from from ball players from writers across the nation from people who are involved in the sport disagreeing with her and almost unanimously saying, no, 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 you're wrong. This needs to stop. It, it kind of, it kind of was encouraging for me because I wasn't the only person saying, what is going on? How can you blame the whistleblower? How can you say, oh, well, he told the truth. So he's going to be, he should be punished. He's wrong. No, no, he didn't. He, yes, he was a part of the team. <laughs> He did reap some of the rewards. He was a part of the team that won. But he still came out and told the truth. And that's all I want. I want people to be honest and to stop the cheating scandal, to, to end this. Now, once again, you know, I said it before the other day, stealing signs isn't what I had the problem with. Because if you're a first base coach or you're a runner on base and you see the catcher give signs and you can read them, while you're on base and signal your, your batter, great. That's on the catcher. That's on the pitcher. That's their fault. But when there's no one on base and the way that you're getting the signs is by using a camera to zoom in to see what the catcher is signaling and then relaying that to the batter, that's cheating. That is cheating. Because you know what? You can even zoom in on the pitcher's glove and see how he's gripping the ball and signal that as well. That's cheating. That's getting an advantage because of technology. Now, one person talked about how they would record the third base coaches giving signs and after the game would go back and study that for hours trying to pick their signs. That's fine. I have no problem with that either. That's not live, in-game, signaling batters what the pitch is coming. Okay? I know that when I played even high school ball, we changed our signs pretty regularly so and no one would pick up what we're doing. Now, it might be small little changes, but it was enough to throw off other teams. And I know that when I played, if the other team was doing hat and arm for steel, man, we were yelling it to our catcher to let them know what was going on because that's the coach's fault for having bad signs. But when there's no one on base and no one should be able to see how the pitcher's holding his ball, no one should be able to see the signs the catcher's giving because there's no one on base, no one there, that's when it crosses the line for using technology. That's, that's, I think CeCe Spathia said it best, 
that's streaming information and not stealing information. And there's a difference. Stealing signs is one thing. Streaming the signs is where it crosses the line. And so, once again, going back to the whole Jessica Mendoza thing, you cannot be a fair and honest commentator on the game of baseball when you work for a team, especially when that team is managed by someone who was a part of the cheating scandal. You cannot be fair and honest. It just doesn't work that way. So either she's got to be done with ESPN or done with the Mets. I don't care which one, but you have to end it one way or the other. You cannot do both. I know that A-Rod is a um, advisor for the Yankees and works also for, I think, Fox or someone else and does baseball commentary. I don't think that should happen either. You, you are either a commentary or a reporter of the game or you're an advisor for a team. You cannot be honest and fair doing both. It just doesn't work that way. So, guys, once again, this Astros cheating scandal, I don't think it's going to go away for a while. We have a lot more to talk about probably. I'm guessing more stuff will pop up uh, each week all the way into the season, through the season. Um, but one thing I am excited about is that I know that everywhere the Astros go, they're going to hear banging on garbage cans and they're going to hear whistling all game long because fans are they're pissed off. They're pissed off because of what the Astros did and not just Dodger fans. Guys, yes, I, I root for the Dodgers. They're like my third, fourth favorite team. I'm a Mariner fan first. Every time the, the Astros play the Mariners, I want to see the Seattle fans just tearing them apart. Every time the Astros go play Oakland, I want to see the Oakland fans tearing them apart. You know, I, I don't I don't want this to become the normal situation where teams can cheat and feel like they get away with it and nothing happens. I want players to be punished as well. I don't think that will happen, but it needs to. It needs to happen and it needs to be set a precedence that players know cheating like this, cheating with, with performance enhancing drugs is going to be punished. Cheating with technology like this going to be punished. Once again, if there's a runner on second base and he steals the catcher's signs because this catcher isn't smart enough to know how to disguise his signs, catcher's fault. But no one on base, video camera on the catcher, that's cheating. That goes too far. That's that's beyond. So, guys, not a fun topic, but, you know, like I said, 2020, I'm going to be more honest with my feelings towards the game and, and some of the topics I go after aren't going to be positive, aren't going to be the best things ever. So, you know, it is what it is. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please click like, please comment on what your thoughts are on the situation. Subscribe if you can, because you know what? It'd be great to have more people uh, checking out the videos that I make, because it's, it's fun. I love talking about baseball. And also in the description below is our Patreon link. If you are interested in becoming a supporter of 90 and Know It All, there are some perks to that. There are some benefits. So, Please click the link in the description below. See what it's all about. But guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All, and I will talk to you later. Hopefully on a more positive note at some point. We'll see how the offseason goes. See you guys.